Now what you guys are about to see is my very first show and tell video. Now show and tell is just going to be about me just posting videos about, you know, me purchasing certain things with regards to anime, movies, Blu-rays, box sets, all of that, you name it. And I'll just going to be unboxing that stuff and just showing it to you. You name it, I'll post it and I'll just show it off. You know, me basically just showing off my nerdy side. But on this particular video, it's just going to be me just showing you guys a whole layout of the room. Now, unfortunately, I won't be able to give you guys details of every single thing that I got because that's going to take a whole lot of time. Um, I just want to show you guys, like, you know, everything that I own and just give you guys a little small scenario of, you know, how I got it and stuff. Now, me giving you guys a further story on to, you know, the books that I have, the animes that I purchased and stuff, those are going to be just in individual videos, as in why I have, you know, all this, you know, all the animes and give you guys a good story of why I love them so much and same thing with the games and everything. Even with my steel book collections too, I want to show those off to you viewers as well. But yeah, <laughs> I hope you guys do enjoy it. And why do I call it um, show and tell? I mean, come on. I mean, I got to be a little creative. I mean, I am a critic teacher, so I want to, you know, add some little flavor into my channel and stuff. So yeah, that's about it. Um, this is Hugo, your critic teacher, and I hope you guys like the video and you guys take care. What's going on everybody? This is Hugo, your critic teacher. And today, this is the episode of Show and Tell, when I show you guys all the stuff and the layout of my room. But before I get you guys into that, I just want to say I apologize. You might hear some noise and some voices in the background that's just people outside my room and stuff. So try to focus on me, okay? Focus on my voice. <laughs> I'll try to speak over them as much as possible. I was trying to, you know... Um, wait and, you know, wait until things die down, but it won't die down. So I told him to keep it down, but we'll see how things go out. I hope it goes out good. But anyway, um, like I said, I'm just going to show you guys a layout of my room, collectible items, all that good stuff. But before we get started with that, I just want to show you guys, you know, um, the small stuff first, which is my bookshelf. Come take a look. Now, as you can see, um, my bookshelf is already getting filled up. Filled up full of manga, <clears throat> um, comic books, regular novels, documentaries, gaming forum, gaming forum magazines, and, you know, strategy guys, which I don't even read anymore. <laughs> There's YouTube for that. But, um, yeah, but most of the manga that's filled up is, um, is Prison School. If you guys are not aware of the anime, shame on you. This anime is like very big um yeah prison school and yeah, this is one of my favorite ones x um a lot of people don't know this anime but it's from the old genre it came out in 1997 um one of the first animes i watched actually very 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 interesting um i tried to let my one of my old friends borrow it and he didn't like it but um I thought it was pretty good. Plan on getting a tattoo of one of the characters on my arm. Um, but yeah, um, this is my bookshelf. And um, that's basically it with this one. Um, let me show you guys the good stuff. The movies. <laughs> Remember this? <laughs> Now, some of you may have remembered it from my Love Rich review. And this is where I got the poster from. It was actually a cloth frame. Um, I wanted to, like, yeah, it, it was like the second movie review that I reviewed. And um, it was, I only did two of them, but I gave this one a high score, an A+. Plus, and um, yeah, I highly recommend it to everybody. I still love this movie to this day. As you can see, I still got the poster. But enough about that. I told you guys I will show you guys a movie, so let me let me get rid of this real quick. <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> now, basically, um, my collection of movies are very very high variety. I've um, I have like steel book cases right here. I have DVDs, regular DVDs, television series right here. We have season movies right here. Um, 
Now I say seasoned movie as, m movies as in like movies that's been seasoned as in old, <laughs> you know. Um, yeah, this is the, this is one of the ones I mentioned. The Breakfast Club, right here. And um, yeah, and then these are the regular seasons. These are um, you know Stranger Things, Game of Thrones. Gotham, Titans, everybody like to talk crap about the DC shows, but there's some some of them are pretty freaking good, man. I have to be honest with you. They are pretty freaking good. Here we have a closer look, a deep dive basically, of um the rest of Blu-rays that I own. Now, um all these movies I had for a very long time. Some of them I just bought recently. Like um Good Boys, I think that's the name of it. And um, let me see. Oh, there it is. I was right. <laughs> uh, there it is right here. Uh, good Boys. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, which was a very good movie. I was going to review it, but hey, I got... It's been a while since I was on this channel. You know, a very long time. So, I'm trying to get back now. Actually, I am back. I'm not... There's no such thing as trying in my, in my lifetime. But yeah. Um, yeah, these are like all my Blu-ray movies and um, DVDs and seasonal movies and let me show you guys the stuff I have on top take a look now these are just my movies and um, television series like collectible um, cases and stuff not cases I mean like this was a case but it came with a misery machine for Scooby-Doo but um, the rest of the stuff is just you know figures and all the other good stuff we have Quentin Tarantino and then we have uh, Rose from um, Planet Terror. Then we have, you know, your familiar Kill Bill, which is um, <clears throat> Uma Thurman. And then, I don't, I don't know the chick's name. I don't think it matters. <laughs> but, um, yeah, Quentin Tarantino box set right here. Huge Quentin Tarantino fan. So, gotta, you know, had to own it. Um, and then Spartacus. Haven't, haven't yet uh, finished that off been so been so busy i don't know if you guys can see this but you know batman that was some um that was from arkham city i think yeah and then the dark knight yeah right here that was a gift actually i didn't buy that one on myself so i actually cheated on that one but yeah that was um Oh yeah, and this up top. Let me. This is where I my. This is where I disappear. Um, yeah, this up here is just more of my um my variety of stuff that I collect or whatever. As you can see, I got this thing. This came with the movie Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Um, Oscar. It's fake. <laughs> I just had to let you know that um, And these are just like um, Books and stuff You know KL Studio Classics and stuff like that And um, uh, uh, Other stuff which is You know like uh, uh, You know like other movies That came with the box sets Like um, Logan Noir I still have to check that out I've seen the actual Nor um, Logan movie But um I didn't check that one out though. And then the Interstellar wheel. So whenever I, I like buy like and, and purchase like a movie or a Blu-ray, it comes with stuff like this. That's like um, books and other like little stuff like that, knickknacks like that. I just put it right here in, in this shelf. Um. Anyway, come back to me. There we go. Anyway, that's my Blu-ray and um, regular DVD and all the collectible stuff on my Blu-ray and movie section. Now, let me show you my animes. <laughs> yep, this is it. This is my anime racks. Um, now, it's way more than that. I have them sticking all the way up to the ceiling, and I'm, you know, I don't have enough space to show you all that stuff. That's why I showed you more camera angles of where they all at. But um, yeah, um, this is everything. This is my anime movie aisle, my anime Blu-ray and anime box set and anime DVD rack. And here, now this is my regular anime Blu-ray um, rack right here. 
Now it has its own separate rack because two reasons. One is Blu-ray, and two it has like um, the box sets are huge, like like they're very huge, and they can't fit in a normal like Blu-ray slot. Would it just have like just one just individual space for one Blu-ray player? I mean, for one, yeah, for one Blu-ray disc or whatever. So I keep the big Blu-ray box set separate. So that's one right here. Now two, this is the this is the separate one. <laughs> this is the one that can only fit like one of these, like Dragon Ball Z. Um, that you know, that's small enough. Um, Devil Man, that's small enough. So anything that's big can be in the big aisle with the big kids. Or anything that's thin and small can go to the small aisle to where the small and the thin kids are, basically. Now right here, I don't know if you can barely see that, but like I said, I already showed you guys how it is um, through, the, through the other clips that I just showed you. Now this is just the regular DVDs. This is just the um, the, the regular DVDs, and just like this one. These are big, these are the big um, box sets and stuff. So, um, yeah. Um, and this is just, um, I'll get into this one um, when I do a separate video of just showing you my whole anime collection. I'm just showing you guys a layout of everything that I have in my room. But yeah, um, a lot of good stuff. In my, and then my anime eye right here, my old... Um, my DVD um, anime aisle, I have a lot of oldies, a lot of old good stuff that I grew up on. I'm talking about Ninja Scroll, Perfect Blue, Ray Earth, ROD, Rita Die, Real Space Force, Ren, all that good stuff. Um, I'm going to have to show you guys that um, after the, um, yeah, when I do that anime, um, you know, collection and stuff. But anyway, that's enough with that. Let me show you guys my collectible items. <laughs> And here we are. <laughs> well, yeah, um, yeah. This is um the one the, the one shelf that has like most of the big stuff that I've been collecting and stuff. So, yeah, this is um everything that I have on this corner. We have um the collaboration of uh, figures right here. We talking about Hihachi versus Kazuya. We talking about um Ryu Hayabusa versus. The mask, I like to call him the mask crusader <laughs> from Ninja Gaiden 3. We got which is a big shocker right here. We have Kratos versus um Chun Li. <laughs> I've um I've did that myself. I even posted a poll about it on social media saying who's gonna win that fight. We all know who's gonna win that fight. Kratos, no problem. But it was a good thing to you know to fuss about it stuff. You know, on the bottom. We have like the icy, um, you know, the icy scenery figurines and figures too. I mean, we have um, y y y we have um, Assassin's Creed. We have Days Gone, The Witcher, the protagonist from Dark Souls Three, Kratos from God of War, and um, I forgot the guy's name from the Order eighteen eighty six. But apparently, what I do is, is that if I get like a collectible f uh, figure or whatever, and it comes with like um, a background. Um, what they're standing on, like if it could be like a rock or something, then I like to put it on this and just decorate it with some stuff, you know, add like a little icy element to it. And here is my Dragon Ball collection. Basically, um, you know, with the Dragon Ball fat statues and stuff, and you know, variety of Dragon Balls themselves and stuff. Um, this was actually also a gift for me. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah. Oh, and then down here is my um, my plushy um, and you know pop figures. I got like um, Catherine right here that came with the game. Love the game. Love the game. And, the, and um, some Attack on Titan pop pop figures and stuff. But yeah, um, that's all I got on this aisle. So let me show you guys some more of my collectible figures. Here we are. <laughs> now this is basically like my um, my extra collectible items. Now we have like the house from Resident Evil Seven. We have um, the Splatter House he helmet or whatever. We have the um, the Dishonored helmet, which doesn't um, can't put it on unfortunately. So that that sucked. Um, yeah, Overwatch statues, and I used to play the hell out of that game. I love Overwatch. Used to, not anymore. I've, um, they changed so much shit on that game, I just, you know, lost track to it. Um, we have Mirror's Edge, we have Doom, we have 
Whew, man. Assassin's Creed Black Flag, man. That was my favorite game. I remember that shit. Um, we have Aloy from Horizon Zero Dawn, female Deadpool, the Watch Dogs figures, and the Street Fighter figure and figurines. And you can see Poison in the back. And Poison, whew, one of my favorite, favorite, favorite characters of all time in Street Fighter. I would play her any day if she's on the Street Fighter game. But yeah, um, oh, and forgot about this bad boy. <laughs> Hell yeah. This little thing was from my Dead Space 2 Collector's Edition when I first bought it. I'm a huge Dead Space fan, but not a fan of the gun. I remember when, when, they, when it was announced that they also have a Collector's Edition available, they did not say that this is going to be this small as this. This might as well can be a keychain. In fact, it's a keychain holder right here, as you, can, as you guys can see. Um, it let a lot of people down. It really did. It let me down severely, and I was very young when I played that shit, you know? Um, but yeah, let me give you guys a more clear angle and a more, um, let me give you guys a better shot from this angle on so I can give you guys a clear view of what I'm looking at. There we go. That's much better, right? Now, um... I was wondering if that thing worked, and apparently it does. <laughs> um, Ruckus foot fell asleep. <laughs> Get it? Ruckus have no feet. <laughs> Let's move away from him for a second. So anyway. Crush, 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 crush. Hello. All right. Just a talking Ruckus head on the wall. <laughs> Let me cut this thing off. Give me a give me a second. There we go. Had to shut him down. I'm actually surprised this thing still works. I had him for a good little while. Um, probably in the beginning of this, of this year, if I'm not mistaken. Bottom when Rage Two came out, it came with the Galactus Edition. So yeah, this thing's still operational. Um, I just wanted to show you guys right here the Fallout um, little collectibles I have. Got the lunchbox right here. Got the um, whoops. whoops. I'm surprised you're still moving. Um, yeah, a little figure here, a little pit boy, a little vault tech little figure here too. Pit boy um, right here itself. And um, yeah, figurine too. But yeah, that was, um, that's it on this side. Now I wanna show you guys my swords. <laughs> here we are. <laughs> Now these is basically the most insertive um, type of open the can of whoop ass you'll want to get. Now these are the um, these are two of my Zombok toes. This is Ichigo's sword and this is Genin Tomorrow's sword. Now with these swords, um, they was expensive. They was like four hundred bucks a piece at an, um, at a at a convention. But I like to go during um, you know during by the end of the day. When they get ready to close, um, when they get ready to close shop, because that's when the stuff begin to be, you know, half price, half off. So I bought these things a hundred dollars each. <laughs> yep, um, had these things for a while. Had these things since I was like what fourteen years old. So yeah, so I've had these things for a good long minute. Um, still operational, still functional, you know. So yeah, still looking good. Still sound good. Still feels good. Mm -hmm. So that's enough about all those. How about I show you guys my game collection, huh? You want that, right? Alright. Oh, here we go. Not really much to show here. We have my PS4 right here. And we have my PS3 right here. Now for my PS4, maybe I can show you guys the skin of how this of how my system really looks. Um some of you guys are gonna be mind blown, just to let you know. There you go. Can you see that? There you go. <laughs> this will be Yumi from um, Simulon Cobra. Huge fan of Simulon Cobra. Have all the games except for the Nintendo DS ones. I don't have no Nintendo DS or 3DS or Wii or Wii U Switch. Whatever, whatever the, the games came out on, I don't have them. <laughs> if it's on PS4 or PS Vita, I'm on it. You know? 
Same thing with No More Heroes. I am a huge, huge diabolical fan of No More Heroes. Um, if it's on the PlayStation devices, I'm on it. If it's not, then I'm off it. <laughs> Period. Um, I just like those type of games where it's just um, simple little break, you know, breaks the fourth wall and you just beat the mess out of the enemies and stuff. I like games like that. Um, kind of gets the nerdy side to be embraced. I also like a lot of hardcore games as well. We're going to get to that in a second. And this is my PS3. A um, little stand with it too. Well, that's for the PS4 actually. Just in case if this bad boy decides to die out. Um, and this is my little radio. Um, my little it's micro music system, but I use it for own calls because um, when I'm when I'm gonna use my channel, I'm gonna try to um, well, they're gonna be you no know, try to like I said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna be posting some you know blog um, videos of me just talking and illustrating to you guys of what to really you know how to deal with everyday life and stuff, relationships, relationship situations, friendship situations, um, just everyday life. And I'm gonna get on and I and I want to get on calls, of people calling me and giving me a little advice as well of how to deal with certain things like that too. So it should be fun. So it's gonna be on this bad boy. Put it on speaker so you and the viewers can hear it. I hope that works out pretty well and it should. But anyway, um, let me show you to the discs and, uh, you know, the box sets of my games. You can actually see in the corner, but let me move the camera a little bit. Here we are, back to the anime section. So, um, my games is basically straight by the anime section. I should have done that while I was doing the animes, but I was just basically doing myself a, cl a, a clear sweep. So, that's eh, no problem, no harm done. But this is my PS3 games right here. Um, yeah, um games like Bleach, as you guys can see, um, Catherine, one of my all-time favorite games, I just, I, I, I love puzzle games, I love games, I mean, I have a freaking Rubik's Cube, for Christ's sake, I just, I love games that like to, you know, um, that like to test out your psychology and like to mess up, mess with your brain and stuff, and just makes you feel so rewarding, um, No More Heroes, as you guys can see. Just talked about that. Love that game Mwah, so much. <laughs> Huge fan. Yeah, um, I'm gonna have to put a separate video of me just showing you guys one by one each one of these games are. But let's move on up to show you my PS4 game. Now we're on top of the world, ladies and gentlemen. And this is my PS4 gaming aisle. Um, as you can see, I got Scorpion up here. Oh, no, you cannot see it. Let me go up a little. There we go. Perfect. We, um, <laughs> we have Scorpion up here. Um, for Mortal Kombat X, Adam for a while came with the collector's edition. Just like the mask. I mean, just like the, the freaking roof, it, you know, Ruckus or Ruka's helmet. I keep saying helmet. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> Um, yeah, these are basically like my collection of um, PS4 games. I even got the retro cases of the PS4 games. Let's see, you got Spyro here, Resident Evil, Metal Gear Solid, Spider Man, God of War, Crash Team Racing. Crash and Same Trilogy. Yeah, I've, um, yeah, I've been having these for a good while now. Um, one of my, um, one of my good buddies was on a website, and he was, like, selling cases to these. When Res, if Resident Evil 3 is coming out pretty soon, and, um, I'm pretty sure he's gonna be selling cases of those as well. So, um, I'm gonna be on that. I'm definitely gonna be on that shit. But, um, all the other PS4 cases, I got like a wooden case from um, Neo. Very good case. I like that a lot. Um, but yeah, um, that's basically all of my, uh, this is all of my games and stuff. So um, we're getting close to wrapping up this video. So let me guys show you my secret stash of my, um, my rare collectibles of my figures. Here we are. <laughs> took Gantz and the ball um, from the anime. Took Kanida's bike. Took Dirty Pair. Now, these are basically my rare finds in my anime collectible figures and figurines. Like with the ball, like the Gantz ball, that thing is like rare as hell to get now. Like, good luck trying to find that thing. 
brand new. And um, with this, I don't know if this is still up in price, but I bought this little bike here for two hundred and fifty dollars. Now I've seen it go down in price a long time ago for forty bucks. After I bought it, go figure. But with these dirty pair, this is basically like my um. This is where the rarity really kicks in because Dirty Pair it used to be an old show back in the 1980s, and um, it, it, it you know it, it leveled up to the point where they started making comic books, novels, anime, um, OVAs and stuff, and they begin to make more um, anime detail and re, re you know um, you know just reorganizing the characters, and I have the figurines of of each of them also, and that took me a while to get them. I'm a huge Dirty Pair fan. And it's just like an anime version of Bad Boys. You know how Bad Boys and Martin Lawrence and Will Smith, they just solve crime, you know, just joking and just trying to screw, screw women. Well, that's Will Smith's character only. But with Dirty Pair, they're just a female version of them. Solving crime, taking down bad guys one by one and just trying to find a good man to sleep with. It, it, it's, it's a very good anime. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, and if you're if you're a fan of the old anime genres, old school like me, um, you should definitely check it out. But um, let me show you guys my music collection and my vinyl record player. Oh, my video just got done downloading. And <laughs> and I'll holler at you guys in a second. Yep, here we go. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. My vinyl record player and my vinyls and CDs. Now. I just got this vinyl record player for Christmas, so I, that just that explains to you why I don't really have a lot of vinyls in my um, in my collection, but I'm working on it. But as for the vinyl record player itself, I love this beauty. This thing is freaking amazing. I'm talking about this thing has a um, an aux port to it. It has a video recorder to record like any type of audio to it. It has like um it, it has a CD player, radio speakers. Um, it even has a freaking cassette player through the sides and this like anything you name it can do it, this vinyl record player itself except for one problem the remote doesn't work the, the remote is shit and I, I tried to use it I tried to and then and the crazy part is even if it works even if I take it in and tell them like hey look I just bought this thing I got it for Christmas and stuff and like the remote doesn't work oh here you go sir take it, it you know it's on the house it doesn't have a power button so even if you're so lazy to the point where you need a remote control to start on something you need to still get up to cut this thing on so the remote is irrelevant what people need the remote for to cut on stuff you know like all this stuff is just, all this stuff is operational um, choice you know what I'm saying so I thought that was a really low blow. Like you have, let me show you. You have this freaking remote control right here, and it doesn't even have a power button. I thought this green button was a power button, but it's an open and close. Like, but that's the only problem of the whole thing. If you want to give me, if you feel me, get this thing review right now. I have to give this a B, a B minus at least. I'm only being generous because this thing can do everything else except the whole functioning remote control thing. Now there are people that have this thing, and it um. They had other problems as well, as in the CD player ending up skipping a lot. There has been like um, laser tearing with their vinyl records and stuff. Like it's been, it's <laughs> I've heard stories to it, but those are just that's just minor. It um, you know it wasn't really like um, out there to the point where this thing was trying to like people was avoiding this thing. You you know with any electronic device, there are gonna be people that's gonna have problems with it. But what I'm saying is, is this thing worth it? It's worth it if you. Um, I love vinyl records. You should definitely p pick this thing up. It has that old classy feel to it, and I love me some Joe Stafford. I already bought a few of our vinyls, but yeah, um, that's all with this one. And in fact, I think that's yeah, I think that's it basically. <laughs> Sorry for the ranting though. I, um, you know, when I talk about certain things, and it just pop my mind just. Ugh. <laughs> Uh, yeah, mm. yeah. So pretty sick, right? I just showed you guys my book collection. You know, Quentin Tarantino um, statues and figures and stuff. Showed you guys my, um, you know, my Edgy Cinderon Cargo PlayStation, my vinyl record player, all that good stuff, man. Um, and, and even more, even my Dead Space um, gun and stuff. <laughs> but it doesn't even stop there. I just showed you guys like the nitty gritty of all the stuff that I have in my layout. As you guys can see, this whole thing is all. 
you know, <laughs> there are times where I just come in here and I just be like, man, I have a lot of shit, <laughs> you know, but I'm pretty sure that there are, I, I look to other people like YouTubers and people that just show off their stuff and they just, I'd be surprised. And they have like, they, like, they have like two rooms, sometimes three with each of these things. You have like a, you have people that have a gaming room. You have people that have, um, you know, like rooms for their figurines. You got people that got rooms for their posters and stuff. You got people that got room for just, you know, their movies and all the other good stuff. Me, I have only one room for all this stuff, and that's this. And I think that's good enough for me, you, you know. So everybody have their own way of setting up. This is just my setup and stuff. And um, it's, it's, it's going to do nothing but just continue to grow. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, um, that's basically it. Um, if you guys liked the video or whatever, you, you know, please stay tuned in the future when I actually post like individual videos of showing you my whole um, Blu-ray collection of my movies, my animes, um, my steelbook cases, my games and stuff. Because like I said, I've, I've showed you guys that, but I didn't really get into a deal, you know, like a deep dive detail of each nook and cranny of what I got. That's going to take a long time. If you wanted to stick around for a few hours or probably half a day to be my guest, let me know in the comments. But I just want to show you a layout of what I got. You know, I just want to show you my gun collection before I end up start, you know, and before I start, you know, pulling the trigger and start giving you guys target practice. That's it's actually, that's essentially what I did. I just showed you guys what I got. So, um next time I'll just show them off and just show you what I can do with them. <laughs> But anyway, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is Hugo, your critic teacher, and I will be seeing you guys very soon.